good morning all uh, wish you all a very happy biodiversity day uh, the thank you all for uh, joining at this uh, such a short notice dr pandav mr virendra tiwari uh, vijay anil nand kumar mr rajendra patil uh, jyoti anagaji aarti pramod ji uh, all of you and i think more and more are joining i think this is a fantastic uh, get together to start with all of us are uh, have gathered here today because all of us are concerned uh, very deeply about the deteriorating uh, biodiversity of mumbai area mumbai metropolitan region uh, year by year day by day week after week and uh, lots of uh, unfortunate developments are also taking place uh, uh, take under the guise of the lockdown and covid so with all these issues uh, uh, you know and uh, to focus on the biodiversity may I invite uh, dr pandav to give the keynote points thank you uh, kumar sir uh, thanks for organizing uh, one more uh, meeting i am sure you are organizing many more it's very refreshing to see so many people uh, together and uh, we i must say that we are privileged to live in such a huge huge massive city with so much of wilderness around i am sure 100 years back it would have been completely different but we can't go back to 100 years back we have to ensure that uh, whatever is there with us uh, left with us today has to be preserved at least for next 15 20 25 or 100 years so that way i would say mumbai is blessed with uh, amazing uh, biodiversity we have two protected areas very close by we have lot of water bodies uh, like tansta dam and the water the lakes uh, in uh, uh, borivali national park which are uh, sanjay gandhi national park which are actually the lifeline of mumbai and then we have this beautiful ocean uh, we have lovely mangrove forest problems are enormous problems are enormous you go to the creek creek has lost all its characteristic only because of because of the sheer uh, volume of pollution in those areas but still they are so full of life still there are uh, quite a bit of mangrove forest left that can be protected and that can be propagated actually the area can be preserved and we can add additional area even if it is small i mean all of us know the real estate value in mumbai 1 inch is very precious for us so that's why i say 1 inch of protected or 1 inch of forested or green area is very very precious to us we are still lucky to have some of the amazing wilderness uh, in in bombay and uh, it is it is our responsibility to protect this wilderness and i am sure it's not it's better said than done it's a tough job only because the wilderness is left uh, in bombay primarily because of its citizens only because of active interest of citizens like you whatever is whatever we see today is left in this area if people wouldn't have campaigned for sanjay gandhi national park with this area would have been gone to i mean we would have seen many more high rises instead of trees there so sir enormous i mean there are pressure from every corners development navi mumbai has to be developed and all these big mega projects coming up so uh, as part of this thing dnhs is actually currently carrying out uh, studies looking at the uh, species richness species diversity especially from birds point of view as well as other marine life in this area so i would say uh, i don't think bnhs intends to stop it completely these projects or bnhs can stop it but the data the volume of data that is being generated from these studies i mean we just have started one and a half year two years back it's a long term project that's going to take place the amount of information that's going to be generated it has to it will be available in open uh, forum and uh, we have to use this information and convince the policy makers that these are the critical areas please leave these areas aside the other thing i want to highlight and i want to tell everyone uh, see conservation conserving certain areas or conservation in general is like a war and in a war we find many we fight many battles we win some we lose some but the moment we stop fighting we lose the war okay so it's like this small saving panjai wetland saving uran area saving thane creek all these are small small battles that or i mean for me these are big battles actually these battles we have to fight and one by one like you have written to pmo and pmo has referred to civil aviation ministry i hope actions will be taken 
and you never know there will be a sensible one sensible officer in civil aviation ministry can make all the difference True. so with the hope that something good will happen we have to keep fighting so i'm talking about the panje which has huge huge potential and has to be protected at all cost the sidco being planning authority why can't they think if they this area is protected their good will their uh, credibility will enhance and people will enjoy this is perfect location perfect place by the house place to be protected it's a rich fishing area it's a rich budding area and why it can't be protected and also i am very surprised why sirco thinking always about the exploiting every piece of land for commercial development are they focus only to make money out of it environment is not important the local communities right fishing community right are not important why people like us want to go to court always we are not capable financially capable although we have no way but to go to the court for the justice and how sirco can develop panje wetland being a low line area being a cr zed area how they can uh, demarcate entire area illegally with different sections from 16 to 28 and flooding flooding is happening this is flood control mechanism flood control mechanism area they have told to relax it this is complete nonsense 